that right now, Bob. You know. But okay. I'll do Molly put the kettle on now. like we're watching you at home. Bob, let's give him a little bit of that, that old time liberty. What? That old time liberty, Bob. Liberty? Yeah, liberty at the corn liquor still. Yeah. Oh, well, we're playing old tune now called... They're not, they're not rolling yet, Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. Okay.
Bob, I'm moving slower than you are. Hang on. What did he say? He said he's slower than you are. Okay, we're rolling. They're rolling, Bob. Tell them what it is, Bob. Liberty at the corn liquor still in Georgie. If I can think, I go. How about that? Uh, Y'all ready for uh, yes. for another one? Can he roll on? And it's not. It's not rolling right now. Oh, okay. My headlight. What are we doing? Wink the other eye. I'm gonna do a little tune now called Wink the Other Eye.
that sounded good, Bob. All right. Can we can we roll on to some some other ones, Roger, and kind of take, try to roll through them? Take on all. While uh, Bob stays hot. What about Bob? Um, you and uh, doing what? What about Memphis Blues? Let's do Memphis Blues right now. That's a D. Yeah, I, I can. It's in D and G. Uh huh. <laughs> Mine's well, down. we're going to do a little old tune called the Memphis Blues now. that is? Sugar in the door. All right, yeah. Give, huh? us, a, give us a lick of that. Tell them what's going to play. You tell them, Bob. <laughs> tell them it's just young people. We're going to play a, an old Jess Young breakdown. 
tune here that he used to play all the time. Uh, Bobby, what's his name? It? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I don't know where he got that or what, but he used to play that all the time. We're going to try to play a little of it. Nellie sent down a request, Bob. Your uh, sister Nellie. You know what she wants. Cut one second. Let us okay. get the tape loaded. Sorry. Oh, okay. We'll start with Nellie. You know, you, oh, they don't well, care. I, I, I can't play it. <laughs> I can't play that anymore. My arm's going out on me. Uh, uh, a lot of double bowling in that. Oh, he had cackle. I used to play the fool out of it. All you time. did. I can't do it. Okay. Now there's a lot of double. Yeah. A lot of stuff like that, you know. And this arm don't work anymore. How's that but shuffle I'm... go? How's that shuffle go? Huh? How's the shuffle go in that? Mike's trying to learn that shuffle. I just can't get it. I get part of it. That's perfect, Bob. Uh. Oh yeah. What else we got on the dock? But oh, okay, Bob. You don't, don't want to even play just a little sketch of that, just for history, Bob. They don't uh, have to use it. No one will ever see it, but uh, but us. Uh, I can't play it, Bob. For now. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Man. 
Uh, all right, Bob. Uh, while we're in G, let's play a little Carroll County Blues, Bob, and then. play uh, Durang's Hornpipe and Hail Among the Year. You don't switch to these? Time a horn pipe tune now. Deer rings horn pipe. Try a little of milk cow blues. You and Mike play that one. Huh? Uh, you and Mike will play that one. Okay. Huh? <laughs> well, I just make a little rattling noise, but I guess I could do. We're set up now.
What about it? My knee. Huh? My knee. <laughs> That's all right, Bob. Remember that was <laughs> practice. Yeah, that's right. Practice. Ask Danny if I've got Bob's mic up too high. Danny, do I have... There's a tune that I got a little story behind. You want to hear it? Huh? Well, there's one man in Chattanooga. You probably heard of him. His name was, uh, they called him Sawmill Tom. You ever heard of Sawmill Tom Smith? Okay, that's the man I'm talking about. He's the only one that played this tune. And uh, I wanted to learn it so bad. He lived up in the holler out of Chattanooga, one of them hollers down there. And uh, he lived in a log, big old log house with a long porch, you know, the side of it. I went up there and I had a little old tape recorder, took it with me. I wanted to get it on tape if I could. And uh, I went up there and Tom, was sitting out on the porch following a handsaw. Following a handsaw. And he just barely could move. He had cancer so bad, you know. And uh, so I got after him to put this, this shirt tune, uh, Muddy Road to Duck Town. I got after him to put that on the tape for me. And he said, Bob says, I can't play fiddle anymore. I can't work the bull. So I kept talking to him, and he finally told his wife, said, bring my fiddle out here. She went in the house and got his fiddle brought out on the porch. He took the bull and got on to it, but he couldn't do nothing with it much, but he did put enough of it on there that I learned, that I learned Muddy Road to Ducktown. Okay. He said, Bob says you want to know the history of Muddy Road to Ducktown said, I'll, I'll tell you that too. So he did. He said, <clears throat> said back in the war days, a bunch of soldiers was a building this road from out of Georgia to Ducktown. I think it's a very short road, you know. And said that road was filthy muddy, buddy. And said they have, they's having a dance on Saturday night. And, uh, so somebody played that tune and, and everybody wanted to know the title of it. Well, nobody didn't know it. And one man says, why not call it Muddy Road to Ducktown? So that's what they named it, Muddy Road to Ducktown. Now, he, he wasn't lying about that because the old man was dying. He's telling the truth about it. And he said, that's the truth about it. And he said, uh, uh, these soldiers named that tune, The Muddy Road to Ducktown. And the road's still there now. And it comes out of Georgia, you know, short road to Ducktown. And uh, said it was awful muddy. So he put me enough of that tune on my little tape that I learned it. Muddy Road to Ducktown. That's the name of it. And that's that's history of it too.
hold it up, Tom. I got our northern box. So, I thank the Lord that he's let me stay able to play some and entertain people, you know. And I thank him for that. I thank him for letting me play the fiddle. I was once, I guess, you could call me the greatest fiddle there was around, you know, back there when I was young, after I started playing. And uh, anyhow, I've got the trophies up there to show it, up there in a museum. You ought to go up there sometime, see them trophies. That's where my fiddle is and all of my trophies. I've got a wagon load of trophies nearly that me and Georgie boy won. Fiddler's contest. Pretty trophies. I got one big and I won up there at that 75 National Fiddler's Contest in Washington. Got one trophy I won up there. I won that in three hundred dollars. I sure have won a lot of them. But I can't fiddle like that no more. Always comes a time, you know. Always comes a time. Well, I go as long as he can. I thank the Lord that he's let me go and play like I do, you know. Of course, they, they just ain't no people as old as I am can play fiddles, you know that, or any kind of instrument as far as that goes. It'd be hard to find a fiddle player, play the fiddle like I do at 99 years old. But I'm still hanging on. <laughs> I hope that tape will turn out pretty good. I don't know how it will turn out. Let's play a little of everything. Uh, Bob, Bob, Bob you, 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 entertain, you entertained us tonight. It's, it's just a, a pleasure for us to listen to you play, Bob. It's so good. You did a great job, Bob.